Broccoli is one of the most popular vegetables grown in the garden. And we're gonna show you how you can grow your very own broccoli. Broccoli is a member of the Brassica family and here in zone eight in the south where we live, we can grow broccoli in the fall, in the winter time, and in early spring. We cannot grow it during the summertime with the intense heat. Now you guys up north, y'all can grow it in the summertime, but you can't grow it in the wintertime because you get too cold. But us in the south, we are afforded the right to grow it all winter long, and it's a special treat for us. Now broccoli is one of those plants that you want to transplant. You want to put plants in the ground in the garden. They just don't do well direct seeded. Broccoli, we like to do spacing about 12 inches apart, and uh, they just don't they just don't tend to do well with direct seeding. It works a lot better if you either buy your plants or you grow your own plants from seed. We're gonna grow 24 plants. This is a 24 cell seed starting trailer. And 24 plants is a gracious plenty for us at one time. Of course, you wanna start with good potting soil or seed starting mix as you see right here. You don't want to use one that's necessarily a pot and soil that has big chunks of bark in there. You want to use a finer mix that is good for seed starting. So we will pretty much fill up our tray there. After I get it nice and wet, I just simply take my finger and go through there and put some little dimples in the soil. Now broccoli seeds are real small, so we don't want to plant them very deep. So just small indentions into the soil will work perfectly. Today we're planting green magic broccoli and green magic is a great broccoli to plant first in the fall and then last in the spring. And the reason for that is a great heat tolerant variety. It's very consistent. It is just a good broccoli. Now later on in the fall, we will plant other varieties such as Imperial and Godzilla. I planted Godzilla last year and was just tickled to death with it because it makes some big old nice heads and it's a very vigorous plant. Now broccoli seed is nice and round and generally pretty consistent. But it is on the small side. It reminds me a lot of turnips and mustard. See there? Kind of small. Now when I plant my broccoli, I normally like to put two seeds per sale. And that's just kind of like a little insurance policy there. So I'll come back after they sprout come up and I have an extra one there I'll just pull it up leave one plant per cell whatever you have left over put back in your seed envelope seal it up put it in the refrigerator you'll have enough to plant your next crop it's a rule of thumb the smaller the seed the shallower you want to plant it as we said these broccoli seeds are real small so you want to make sure that you don't plant them very deep at all if they are planted too deep then you will get poor or no germination when you start to cover up your seed we like to use a product called perlite perlite is a nice fluffy product here that works great for covering up the seeds the seeds can push right through there when they start germinating and that is our preferred way of doing it. However, if you do not have perlite, you can just take a handful of your seed start mix and cover those seeds up. You just wanna make sure that you don't put too much soil on top of those seeds. And then we'll just lightly water it in, get it nice and wet. And we'll probably do this once or twice a day. It's according to how hot it gets, but uh, we wanna keep it nice and wet, but not too wet. The good thing about these seed starting trays is we can catch the excess water there and we can remove that. We don't want our pot and soil sitting in standing water. Now this tray here is meant to be a catching tray for moisture. And you'll see there inside there, it has these little grooves there where the holes of the sails there line up those grooves so it can actually drain out. Bottom watering for seed starting is not a good idea and letting your soil sit and stand in water is a bad idea because that's how we get diseases and poor germination and our seeds rot before they come up. So the trick to it is keeping the soil nice and moist, but not too wet. 
And in a few days, probably anywhere between five and seven days, this is what you'll see. This broccoli here has come up, sprouted, looking good. We've got a good stand there. We'll probably give this another three or four days and we will start hitting it with some liquid fertilizer through our drown watering wand. And that'll get it off to a good start, be a nice, healthy plant. Here's some broccoli we transplanted a couple weeks ago. And what we have found is 12 inch spacing is just about perfect for broccoli. Now we transplanted this two weeks ago on our seed pack. It says 55 days to maturity. That 55 days is from the time the plant went into the soil. It does not take in consideration greenhouse time. Normally speaking, we can grow our plants out in the greenhouse from seeding to ready to transplant in anywhere to four to five weeks. So, we keep a good crop coming along about every two to three weeks. We will seed some more broccoli. And that way, we got a good supply of broccoli all season long. With broccoli, you want that nice green on the leaf there. You want to feed your broccoli well. Broccoli takes more fertilizer than people think it does. Most brassicas do. So check out our horse growing guide on broccoli to see our fertilizer schedule. As far as pests are concerned, we don't have a lot of disease problems, but we do face some insect issues with our broccoli growing in the garden. The four main ones that we struggle with are flea beetles, white flies early on, aphids, and worms. Now, all those are pretty easy to control, but you gotta stay at them with a pretty strict spray schedule. The white flies are gonna live underneath the leaves there, as well as the aphids. And with flea beetles, you need to treat underneath the leaf and then the top side of the leaf as well. And with worms, you need to get really good coverage. You see the holes there in the leaves? That is from worm damage. Now we can control all these insects with the pesticides, the insecticides we have listed on our broccoli growing guide. Homegrown broccoli is just a great addition to feeding your family, whether you eat it raw or you eat it cooked. Also, it's just wonderful to be able to share it with your family and friends.